Hey guys, welcome back to Life with EGD, and today we are going to be making some pads. These are the ones I have already made. Um, and the thing that you are going to be needing is a craft loom, and it looks like this. Um, a pick that comes with a craft loom. Um, some bands. Um, so yeah, that's what you're going to be needing. So let's get started. If you want to make um, a pad like I'm doing, like this, you are going to need 36, um, 12 out of 3 colors, um, out of each of the 3 colors, um, and yeah, so I'm going to use my green first, and I'm just going to be put 6 down. So once I got six down um, of my first color, I'm just going to put that color to the side for now, and I'm going to grab my second color, which is going to be blue, and I'm going to go ahead and put six of those on. Then I got my second color and I'm going to put on my third color, which is going to be purple. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on. So once you've got all um, of your bands on for the first um, layer, you're going to take um, you're going to decide which way you want it to be. I don't want the green to be or the purple to be like that. Front, so I'm going to grab my purple. And I'm just going to take it. And I'm going to sit, want to either go down or up. And weave through it. like that um, and you're going to do want to six across six down so I'll do five more so then it ends right here and then I would pick blue or, or my middle color like right here which would be blue and I'll go next with six colors and then take my bottom color and go next with six colors so yeah, that's what you're going to do. You're just going to make sure it's like the opposite. So if you did your first one down under a peg, then you're going to do your other one up. So you're just going to switch off. So then it looks like that. And you're just going to keep on going until you are done. So this is what you're going to get when you're all done weaving your band. 
everyone's thrill. Um, and now it's time to put the finishing touches on. So you're going to pick a corner. I'm just going to use a random corner, which is in front of me right here. And I'm going to lift it up. Pick the second one. And let's go ahead and pull through like that. And you're going to do your third one. And then you're going to put it right there. And you're going to grab your third, first, the very first one and put it up there. And you're just going to continue on with it. Um, yeah. And you can also you can use your pick too if you want, but it's actually easier when you use your fingers, in my opinion. And then when you get to the corner, it's actually very simple. All you have to really do is stretch over. You just take it and go like that. That's all you really need to do. So, yeah. That's what you need to do. Okay, so when you're done looping your um, sides, um, you are going to have two picks, the first one that you started with, and then the end one. You're just going to take those off your loom, and you're going to double, not them, if I can figure out how to do this. Kind of like if you would tie your shoe but double knotted. So that's what you're gonna have. So I hope you enjoy my video on how to make this hot pad. Um, and comment down below and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.